happening all over the country. And so we want to take advantage to appeal to Ghanaians that they should bear with us after they've given us four years mandate and we believe that definitely we will arrive at what we had promised them. <laughs> and normally we are tempted to liken our journey to the journey of the Israelites when they were promised by God that he was going to move them from Egypt to the promised land. Immediately, in fact, everybody thought it was just going to be a day's journey. But we all know the history. But what the point we're driving at is that definitely we shall arrive at what we have, a promise Ghanaians before the next election day. We also spend time because the health conditions of the people matters to us so much. And so whilst we were looking at sanitation on one side, we decided to also invite officials from the Ghana Health Service to take all the chief executives through some of the recent happenings. Preventive measures that need to be adopted, cautious measures that need to be adopted so that we will save money instead of waiting for outbreak of epidemics to arrive. The last thing that featured prominently on our discussion had to do with job creation. We do acknowledge that all over the world, these days, most people are craving for new job openings. And so we want to be very proactive as chief executives of the various assemblies to also lend a hand and as we roll along, I'm sure we'll be giving you details about some of the job creation opportunity and initiatives that we've decided to adapt. At this juncture, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me on behalf of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, President John Dramani Mahama, reassure Ghanaians that Ultimately, we shall arrive. The journey could be difficult, but with the Lord supporting us, we shall arrive. Thank you. Thank you.